Hi everyone, welcome back to Xvolt Tech. And right here is my 2011 Mac Mini file server. Today, I'm going to be doing a hardware upgrade on it. Specifically, I'm going to be upgrading it from a 2011 to a 2012. The reason is because I, was, I found a really cheap one that I don't even know if it works yet. And it's going to have much faster uh, USB transfer speeds with USB 3.0 over 2.0. And also Mac OS Catalina over Mac OS High Sierra. So, first things first, let's shut down the server. And it's off. Now I gotta unplug everything. Before I uh, get into, um, you know, replacing the 2011 with the 2012, ignore any the background noise, I'm kind of on a vacation right now. Um, the process of actually getting this was kind of sucky. Um, not really the Mac Mini itself, just the process of finding one with a good deal. And what I originally was gonna do is I found a 2012 server edition um, with a Quad core i7, which I'm like, that sounds pretty good, and it's only $30. However, it was an auction, and it was expiring in a couple of hours from when I saw it. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll just, you know, I'll, 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 I'll bid. But I wanted to wait until the last minute, but as the time got closer, more and more people started to join, and then there was a huge bidding war at the end, to which I lost by $1. Thank God I didn't pay that price because I was very close to, and luckily for me, I found the listing of the current Mac Mini I have shortly after, so thank God for that. Alright, here it is after being used almost continuously as a server for the last three months. Not, not different, but what I am going to be doing is I'm going to be taking the hard drive out of this Mac Mini, putting it in the new one so I don't have to worry about anything, and then upgrading it to Catalina. So let's get on to the unboxing. All right, here we are fresh with a box from USPS, my favorite postal service because I only ever have good experiences with them. Anyway, let's open this sucker up. And I already messed up the box, that's very nice. I was too lazy to grab scissors, so that's on me. Oh my god, what kind of tape is this? It doesn't break! The tape doesn't break! Oh my god. Should have grabbed scissors. I'm gonna grab scissors. Oh, nice, nice bubble wrap. Paper stuff. There it is. Oh, and they even included an adapter. Yay. So, the listing said that this thing was tested and working, except it just had a password. But given the fact... Oh, this is like the original cable, I think. Wow. Eh, needs a bit of cleaning. Might need a bit of dusting as well. well let's, let's, let's plug this in first. I want to I wanna see it turn on. Turns on, does a little bong, are we starting up? We are starting up into black screen, probably has Catalina installed on it. Might have to, I'm going to have to grab a keyboard and mouse so that I can uh, interact with it. Not like it will matter anyway, because I'm just going to be replacing the hard drive and then upgrading it. So it's not that big of a deal. All right, it, the startup is painfully slow, but there it is. It's running, it's running Monterey? Hold on, it's running Monterey? No way, it's running Monterey. Did they patch this? Same. Oh, is that the password? Watch the password just be admin. That would be so funny if the password was just admin. Admin. That was it! It was admin! Oh my god! We're like in! We're in now! Oh my god. Yeah, eBay lister, maybe... eBay seller, maybe you should've, uh... You know, checked that. 
but is this why is it running Monterey? <laughs> this was clearly being used. Oh my. There, there it is, open core patcher. <laughs> open core patcher. That's the last thing this guy did on it. Besides Wikipedia, you can see he has open core legacy patcher opened. Mac Mini, yes. <laughs> it has 16 gigabytes of RAM. Oh my god. What what language is it set to? Also, Wi-Fi was turned on by default, was just like open there. No Apple ID, no lock. What is the language set to? What is Mordad? Because that's, it almost sounds like Spanish. Region Afghanistan? Calendar Persian? What? What? This came from like New York. What? Af Persian Afghanistan? No wonder, Mordad is like a month, whatever day that is. Okay, this is a very interesting find. Thank you for giving me an open core legacy patched Mac Mini. Not like I'll use it. Um, I'm gonna wipe the drive and then I'm gonna reinstall like High Sierra so I can put it, that in the 2011. I don't know what exactly I'm gonna do with the 2011 yet, but we have confirmation that it works. Lock isn't a big deal, and we can immediately get straight to the hard drive replacement. Okay, so first things first is to extract the uh, hard drive out of the 2011, and I have the replacement guide up here because it just so happens that these two are basically the exact same internally. So I'm going to set the 2012 aside, and let's get started. First, we're going to remove the bottom cover. All right. Still looking pretty clean. I mean, it's only been a couple of months. Well, we're pretty much right there. There's the hard drive. I don't even think I have to remove the antenna plate. So I'm just going to leave it dangling there. Probably isn't the best idea. That, it was that easy. <laughs> It was that easy. The iFixit guide says to to like basically take out the whole logic board to make it like really easy, but you could just slide it out. It, it was that easy. I just slid it out. All right, <laughs> cool. I feel like this thing has been partially opened already. Okay, dust actually doesn't look too bad. It's not that dirty in here. I'll, I'll give the, the previous owners that. It's not that dirty. Yeah, not that bad. I feel like this was properly maintained. At least so far. Because the, if you remember, the 2011 was absolutely filthy. So it's a Really big relief that the 2012 is not very filthy. I should repaste it. Uh, it's just a server, not that big of a deal. Not like I'm gonna be running Epic Gamer moments on it. If the if I do find that the temperatures are running quite hot, then then I'll repaste it. Yeah, here's something interesting. I don't think this is the original drive. You know, one's a Seagate, and then the other one is an HGST. It's a Hitachi. Which is what Apple used. So maybe this original, the 2011 was originally, oh god, there actually is some dust in there. Yeah, now that I'm looking at it, honestly, I'm thinking maybe I should keep the Hitachi in there. And then I could just clone... The drive, because these are both 500 gigabytes, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, this was definitely upgraded. Date of manufacturer says March 2015. This is October 2013. So this is the that is the original hard drive. But also, this is a faster hard drive. So honestly, I'm just going to bite the bullet and say, yep. Sorry about that, folks. My uh, camera died. But uh, now I have both the Mac Minis put back together. I have the 2012 there. And now let's see 
if the swap was successful. It should just be a drop-in replacement unless I didn't plug it in. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, it's just, again, spinning hard drives, very slow. Very, very slow. But, uh, she's booting. All right. We are in. We are running at about 50 Celsius, which isn't horrible. Um, but now I got to upgrade this computer to Mac OS Catalina. Oh, shit. All right, I'll get that later. This is going to be a while, so I'll be back, and I'll see you when we are on Catalina. Hey everyone, I'm back after a nap and updates are done and we are on Mac OS Catalina. Now, everything has worked out well. We are up to date with the latest version of Catalina. I might patch it in the future, I don't know. But for now, the server is all set up and all I have to do is plug the drives back in and the server is back up and fully running. There we go. I am now able to access the files. This is cool. So it seems that the file server is all good to go. We got everything all set up and we have officially done the upgrade from a 2011 to a 2012 Mac MIDI. It just took a long time to update and I was asleep for part of it. So I have to reconnect um, my uh i have to reconnect my server my uh my laptop and my pc to the new ip address and now i'll have much faster transfer speeds because if you remember uh i talked about how usb 2.0 had a, a cap and it did uh whenever i'd copy stuff it would always cap at about 30 megabytes a second and um copying between drives on the mac always took a long time as well. Now I'm limited to 5 gigabits per second. So I'm not going to be experiencing bottlenecks anytime soon. And there it is at work, fellas, the 2012 Mac Mini. It's not the greatest, but this is three times more than what I was getting with the stupid 2011 Mac Mini. But there you go. I'm able to transfer files at 100 megabytes per second. I used to only be able to cap at like 20 to 30 megabytes, maybe even 50 at most. Most of the time, it was 30. Now, it's consistently 100. Look at that, 4 minutes and 30 seconds for 26 gigabytes. That's really good. That thing right there is the GOAT. If you're gonna get your own file server in a Mac Mini, get something after 2011 because that is way too slow for you. And as you can see, I did switch back to Windows. Uh, kind of got tired of Linux after a while. Not really for me, but... um. Something I, I was going to mention this as a text post, but in fact, um, after I installed the 2012 uh, uh, Mac Mini, Linux refused to read from it at all, which was the cam straw that broke the camel's back for me about Linux, because I couldn't access it from my laptop or from my PC, both running Arch Linux. I couldn't access anything there and nothing I tried worked but I was able to access it on my 2012 MacBook Pro and my ThinkPad T60 running Windows 7 and look at that I'm able to access the server PC picks that's on my server I'm able to access it with no problems on Windows it's just Linux is being extremely stupid and it was normal until I upgraded to the 2012 I don't know what I did but it works on Windows and all my programs are on Windows anyways so uh, that's going to be it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.